Hi, I'm Petra Hilleberg and I'm here at the Outdoor Retailers Show and I want to show you what we have for 2019. So the Alec has been one of our most popular models since uh, 2008 and we figured it was time to introduce the three person version of this so now we have the Alec 3. Uh, the Alec that has been called the Alec all these years are now going to be called the Alec 2. Thus, the Alec 3 is coming in this year. And it truly is a three person tent. You can fit easily three people, or for those of you who like to add extra gear, you can have a lot of space for extra stuff in here. Or if you travel with a big dog. So as you can see, lots of space in here for three of us. We even have John, who's two meters, six six. Lots of headroom. You want to sit up and show the headroom for a two meter guy? The palace. So, Lots of space for three and a palace for two. The pack weight of the Alec 3 is 3.7 kilos. The Alec 2 is 3.3 kilos, so 400 grams more um, for the Alec 3. The sitting height is also really tall. It's about 110 centimeters, so uh, 43 inches peak height. Um, so it's a really nice and roomy tent. Two entrances, two vestibule, just as I like it on the other, uh, a regular Alec. So we're pretty excited about it, and I think it's gonna be a nice option. Here we're showing the Alec 3 with the optional mesh inner tent. So for most of our tents, we have a mesh inner tent. It can be used together with its corresponding outer tent or use it separately together with a tarp. Or if it's really nice, you can use it just separately as it is. Um, so the mesh inner tent is about the same weight as the regular inner tent, so it doesn't change anything on the overall weight of the package, but you have a little bit more uh, breathability and better views if you have everything open. But again, the mesh panels on the Alec 3, the regular inner tent, are also really big. So if you have those rolled down, you can more or less have the same functionality. One of the great advantages and good features about the Alec is that it's completely freestanding. So that means completely freestanding, including the vestibules. You see how the, the pole here supports the vestibule? So technically, I could pick it up here and pop it wherever I want to. Uh, so you could, in theory, use it completely without pegs. That is, of course, not something we recommend. We always think that you should use pegs because you never know what's going to happen during the day. The winds can always shift and new winds can always come in stronger than you thought they were going to be. So we compare a, a completely freestanding tent and then we also have self-supporting. So we like to differentiate them. So a self-supporting is when the body itself is supported by the structure and then you have to peg out the vestibules. So here we're showing a Rogan, which you can look at it as a lighter weight version of the Alec. Um, so the Rogan, two entrances, two vestibules for two people, so similar to the Alec too, but here you have to peg out the vestibules. But that's something to think about if you're often pitching it on a completely uh, flat rock surface, then a freestanding tent like the Alec or the Staika, Solo or Una are good choices. So that's what we have to show for 2019. And I know there's gonna be some people that say that we've been lazy all year because we only have one model. And it seems very simple. You have the Alec 2 and you want an Alec 3, you'd blow it up on the computer, but it doesn't really work that way. And also, as a, a company where we have the entire product stages, so from development and then all the way through production and with our own factory and all those stages, it takes a lot more processes. So we've been really working on our processes to to be better in all aspects, on all models, and everything we do. So that's a lot of what the development team does as well, not only focusing on new models. But we're really excited about the Alec 3. I hope you'll like it. If you want more information on the Alec 3, the Alec 2, or any of our freestanding versus self-supporting tents, go to our website, pillowberg.com, and you can get a lot more information on it there. So that's all we have. Have a really nice summer, and I hope you spend a lot of nights in tents.